In this video, I'm sharing the best 99 three-point point guard build for season three of NBA 2K23. We're gonna start with the point guard position. You're gonna go six foot one, minimum weight, and you're gonna go six two wingspan. And I'm gonna do compact body shape. So for your attributes, we're gonna go 80 driving dunk to get the quick drops. Uh, you're gonna go a 74 driving layup. And you go a 59 close shot. Get the 16 badges that we need to get limitless takeoff in order to really effectively use the quick drops because this build of course isn't going to finish great but with the addition of quick drops now it's a build that can really get to the rim uh, so we're going to go of course 99 three point absolutely insane and the main point of that as you can tell is really just for the limitless hall of fame limitless range uh you could almost shoot from half core with it if you really know your your jump shot and you get your takeover and all that type of stuff you really don't miss from anywhere we can go a 94 ball handle. We're going to go a 79 pass accuracy and a 79 speed with ball. So you get your 24 playmaking. Defense, we're actually not going to touch really. We're going to go 50 perimeters. This is a zero defense build. So make sure you have a team. Uh, make sure you're in the corner, all that type of stuff. But this is the only way to make this build work and be like really competitively able to score the ball. Uh, we're going to go 94 acceleration with an 80 in the speed. Uh, your vertical is going to say to 60. We're going to go a 97 stamina. And so this is like where, you know, your build can be messed with. You could go higher free throw. Uh, where are we at? Yeah. Or you could up your close shot a little bit. It doesn't really do much. Nothing really changes like throughout the build. Uh, so I would just add in your free throw. You could adjust stuff here and there. You maybe lose a, a few playmaking if you wanted to. But your plus four is going to be added somewhere within this range. I don't suggest doing your finishing. So between these two... I would add your plus four. Uh, you can get a few more playmaking. Probably shooting can be the best way to do it, but your physicals are insane. 94 acceleration. You're going to be really, really fast with the ball and have a 99.3 with Hall of Fame, like Agent 3 and all that type of stuff. So you're going to be tough to guard. Uh, here's all the playmaking or the takeover badges it gets. I suggest doing the playmaking one first. I think it makes you more of a threat if you're with a team. If you play by yourself, definitely look to do pull up. Maybe even add in the limitless range. So your Hall of Fame limitless range added in with this. To, it just makes you be able to shoot pretty much from anywhere. Now, I'm going to leave this as my takeover setup. And then we'll go to the shades up screen and see uh, what players. So these are the three players. The build is actually called a shot creator. And so we'll go over to... I'll show you, I'll show you a quick little badge. The best badge setup, I feel like, for each of these uh, categories. That way you can get the best out of this, in my opinion. Uh, Acrobat Bronze, Fearless Finisher Bronze. We'll go Giant Slayer Gold. Aerial Wizard Bronze. We'll do a Limitless Takeoff. We'll core that. And I'm going to add Slithery just to get through the lane a little bit more. And I'm going to add Basher. Uh, some of these don't really make sense, but there's not enough finishing like things to finish with. If you use Pro Touch, it's a good one. I don't time my layup, so I'm not going to touch that one. Uh, for your shooting... This is where things get kind of crazy. So this is where you can have one, some of your plus fours. I'm going to go gold volume. I'm going to go gold green machine. Uh, Hall of Fame guard up. And then we're going to do limitless range. I'm going to core that. Agent three, Hall of Fame. Blinders, Hall of Fame. And then I'm going to add one to clutch shooter. And so you can really change up how you want to do this. Of course, if you add a plus four, you know, you take off this one. You could Now you have five bads. You get, you know, amp to a decent amount, space creator, whatever you're wanting to do. I do think plus four in your shooting is probably a, one of the best things you can do. Uh, but playmaking is also a good one. So we do get Hall of Fame Quick First Step, Hall of Fame Hyperdrive. We get Gold and Pluckable. And then you're going to lock your tier threes. I, I suggest doing Handle for Days. We will core that gold. And then, of course, Bailout. You can do Needle Thread or Silver. But if you see how much you have left over, uh, you actually do have quite a bit left over. So here you have seven. So if you add your four... You know, you have 11 here, so if you use Bailout, now you have 7 again. So if you add your plus 4, you're going to be able to actually get a secondary of these. Which is honestly great, because like, you get Clamp Breaker, you can attack the rim better, move around better, kill the combos and dribbles. So maybe adding your plus 4 here, going to give you 8, you're going to be able to get one of these and still be able to get Needle Thread or Bronze, I think, which I think is pretty important. So uh, I want to add a plus 4 to your shooting. I'd add a plus 4 to your playmaking. And then for defense, I would just do box out and off ball pest. But I think those are the best badge setup. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one.